Hello and welcome to my unboxing and review of the Adeptus Mechanicus Castellan Robots. I'm just going to take the uh, plastic wrapper off. I think this set will cost you it's about £45. So it's quite pricey, but you get two giant robots in it. I must admit, I wasn't a big fan of the robots at all. I just didn't like the look of them. I didn't like the aesthetics. Apparently they've been around since sort of like the the heresy times and they've just stood the test of time really but I much prefer the Tagmata and the Forge World um, Mechanicum stuff. These just look like I don't know what the designer was thinking and um, they sort of look like they're from um, some sci-fi program in like the 50s or 60s um, but I've they've sort of grown on me a bit seen them in person, looking at their rules especially, and um, some very decent rules. Uh, let's have a look at the back. So you get one of these Cybernetica data smiths, and then you get these two um, Castellan robots. You can quit, equip them with the phosphor, heavy phosphor blasters, or these, I think it's a Cygnus Flamer, uh, or you can just give the dude a, you know, a couple of power fists. And they've got these sort of like protocols, rules, which um, sort of buff them up. There we go. So you get your two large sort of monstrous creature bases. Um, you get a 32 mil base for the Cybernetica. You get some uh, transfers. And you get the little instruction books for them. Wow. The data smith looks really easy to create and the robots not too bad yeah they look quite quite straightforward to, to create um, and then here are the sprues you get you only get two sprues so there's not a lot for your money um, sprue wise um, but all the parts are nicely sort of squished in just have a little look there's the data smith there there's your your weapons you've got enough to equip them with two power fists or two heavy phosphors really up to you and they've got the faces there as well and this is their torsos and the sort of back of the date smith a fair bit of detail on there and you've got a choice of choice of two data smith heads that's pretty cool if you wanted to change your head on on another model and the power fists. Yeah, it looks really cool. So what I'll do is I'll go away and build them and uh, you'll see them in part two where I'll finish the review. So join me, join me in part two. And welcome to part two of the unboxing and review of Castellan Robot Maniples. I can't remember whether I said at the start of the video uh, pricing, but these will set you about £42. And I think that's a lot of money um, for for what you get. This is what almost Land Raider territory. I think you could probably pick up a Land Raider for for forty pounds or so. But um, these are the robots themselves. They do look like throwbacks to the sort of nineteen sixties, seventies sort of era of robots when they were on telly in the sci-fi uh, films, sci-fi TV series, things like that because they've got sort of a very curved aesthetic. If you read up on them they actually predate the um, Mechanicum so to speak. They're way before any of the sort of grim dark, grimy, angular sort of servitors and things like that that, that uh, we see nowadays. They predate the Castellax, things like that. This is sort of like um, the penultimate weaponry that they that they kind of had um, robot wise what it comes with is it comes with two of these guys and you can kit them out either with these heavy phosphor blasters um, and a phosphor blaster at the top uh, which I've gone for because they are just immense weapons range 36 strength 6 AP 3 and um, heavy 3 they've got this rule called luminogen which basically if they get an unsaved wound or glancing or penetrating hit then the cover save is actually one less until the end of the phase and they also get to re-roll um, their charged charge ranges too so very very useful um, a little bit OP not sure I mean 
they've got an effective range of what 42 inches I suppose you can move them six and then fire their, their 36 inch range weapons um, these are and remember they come with twin linked so already you're getting six shots that you can re-roll then you've got these on the top so that's another nine so you get 15 shots there of uh, strength 6 AP3 so you the only downside of course is their ballistic skill is three so you have to be hitting on fours but then wounding and probably killing for marine equivalent on a two unless they've got cover save but remember that cover save rule I said I talked about earlier let's have a look at the, the models themselves they are a bit funky they have grown on me though hence why I've, I've bought them obviously I wanted them in my my ad mech um, army they've grown on me and I really think it depends on the color scheme you go for I am going for the red just because my Skitari will be red and, and all the rest of it. I'm going to have a look at what I can do with uh, with this sort of emoji face. Because <laughs> that's the only thing that I'm not really liking. It's just this dome dome head area. Um, that's the only thing. The, the, the legs are, are not too bad. I've gone without the tubing because you only get two two lots of cables and um, so it'd be a bit look a bit odd if you had one with two lots of cabling coming out and one that didn't or just one lot of cabling coming out of one of its legs and um, just just looks odd if it's um, not equal if, if that makes sense they're pretty fun to to build there's a lot more pieces than I thought that they'd have especially in the legs this torso and the arm areas are, are, are quite simple and straightforward to, to make and they just repeat them you know uh, the, the legs, uh, they've got specific plugs and sockets to go in, but you could just shave or cut them off totally and then just sort of move the legs in whichever position you, you require. I've gone for quite a static pose here, he's just blasting away. And then this guy, I've actually aimed the pinnacle mounted um, heavy phosphor blaster in the same direction as his, as his other gun arm. So there you go, that's, that's those two. Now let's have a look at the, the Data Smith. Um, really cool model. Um, very steampunk, uh, really fits the aesthetic of um, Ad Mechanicus. Looks and he looks amazing next to the Tech Priest Dominus. He's he's very well kitted out too. I mean, he's got this refractor field. I think it's five plus and vulnerable. Then he's got a normal two plus. He's got a gamma pistol, which is devastating. He's got a power fist, and he's got his two two wounds also. It's it's worth mentioning that these guys um, count as monstrous creatures. Their save is only 3 plus, but they've got 3 wounds and the toughness is 7, their strength being 6. They've got 2 attacks, not too bad, but what you really got, get these guys for is their repulsor grid, mainly. They've got 2 main special rules, they've got their Castellan battle protocols, you can pick um, a protocol and then it's active from the start of your turn. There's the Conqueror protocol, where it doubles the attack's characteristics. Um, but you can't make any shooting attacks. That's pretty useful if you go for the power fist versions of these. I mean, that's going to be four attacks each, ten attacks uh, on the charge. That's that's just immense. Uh, the Aegis Protocol, um, you have Feel No Pain. And they all have Aegis normally, which is very decent. And then the Protector Protocol, you can fire all the carapace mounted weapons twice. Um, but you can't move. So before, when I told you, told you that you had 12 shots with half of them being twin linked, well, now you're going to get 18 shots instead of the 12. Um, so 18 shots. If they stand still and fire 18 shots into a, into a Space Marine squad, I don't think there's going to be anything left. That's factoring in the 50-50 chance of them hitting and, and also any cover saves. I think you've got a good chance at wiping out a a squad. Likewise their return fire, this gets me onto their, their other excellent rule which is the repulsor grid um, whereby they have a 5 plus and vulnerable save against shooting attacks but when they pass their save and throw uh, of a 6 that shot's deflected and if it is deflected the unit that fired it suffers an immediate hit resolved at the strength and AP value of, of the weapon that was originally allocated to it and it can't reflect blast or template weapons or psychic shooting attacks. However, for instance, if you shoot one of these guys um, with a LAS cannon, my Space Marine, and they make the save of, of the 5+, plus, so say they get a 6, that LAS cannon shot goes back at that Space Marine. That's pretty horrific. Uh, likewise, a melter gun shot at one of these guys, um, or dare I say it, a, a grav um, gun shot. 
or any sort of low AP weapon that, that isn't blast or template going against these you get six. Six isn't huge um, but it's cool that they sort of can repulse that fire back at, at the enemy and that's one of the main reasons you get them. Now they're in the heavy support slot it costs 290 points which is very expensive but at the end of the day you're getting eight wounds worth um, for the 290 points you're getting some very nice weapons you're getting this guy that can sort of stand his own with his power fist and his, his decent saves and you're getting all these different protocols too obviously it'd be nice to have the Aegis protocol um, to have this feel no pain but likewise when the time is right it's nice to just upload that protector protocol you can include two additional data smiths not sure why you'd do that but I mean it might that might help them in close combat I suppose um, but you can have four additional Castellan robots so you can have six of these and three data smiths all in one heavy support choice now that is pretty horrific even if you had I mean if you had all six of them kitted out with phosphor blast, blasters that's pretty cool but they're not going to take out the heavy tanks or anything like that so it might be worth ta tactics wise to have two of them with um, with power fists and have them you know deep within the the squad of six but if you're going to do it that way that's going to set you back 770 points if my maths is correct just for six of them with one data smith so that's almost an army in seven models but it's possible you can do that and then he can take some special issue war gear or arcana mechanicum so in summary they're an odd looking pair of models uh, especially their the heads um, but they've sort of grown on me and if you have like six of them they're not going to look too bad uh, the data smith is absolutely awesome though really like that model unfortunately though if you have three of them in a squad they're going to look identical because they're they're not very poseable at all and um, where the robots you you can sort of pose them a little bit i just show you the spare parts so here are the spare parts not many spare parts at all. I mean, it might be with a little bit of modification possible to sort of magnetize to the ends of these, um, but you're gonna have to cut cut these off and then magnetize them that way. It's probably more hassle than it's worth. Uh, you get these um, incinerator type flamer weapons for the carapace. Again, it might be possible to magnetize them. It's up to you. Uh, oh look, I've got a gene stealer cult part there. Oh, that's pretty cool. I have to put that in its right place. Um, and then you get these sort of cabling that I mentioned earlier that you put at the at the feet, which I'm not a big fan of. So you don't get many parts, which is great because it's an expensive kit and you don't really want to be left with too many spare parts that you can't use. Um, it builds the, the robots and the data smith and that's what you sort of want it to um, to do and then I'll just show you a little size comparison. I mean the data smith is is about the same size as space marine Just wanted to make that sort of size comparison there between one of them give you a Size size difference there we are so they're probably two and a bit times space marine maybe uh, But there you go and um, so they so they do stand out um, probably about dreadnought size. So in summary, they are expensive. £42 is a lot of money just for sort of three models um, when you say it like that. But they are sort of dreadnought size and dreadnoughts go for what, £30 or so. Um, and you do get this really cool Data Smith model. Um, depends on what kind of armour you're looking for. Uh, it's cool if you have, if you can get more of these um, and have them with the power fists. Um, because I, I don't think two with the Data Smith in small games, this 300 odd point unit is gonna wreak havoc. Usually high points cost models, high points cost units are incredible in um, in small point cost games like 1,000, 1,500 points rather than the, you know, lots and lots of low point cost models because you find that those low point cost models, they just can't take on the, the, bigger, the bigger high value units, if you see what I mean. Another thing that you can do is you can actually, if you get another set of these, you can put them in this cohort Cybernetica, which is a formation in the codex, and it counts as one unit. You get two um, extra rules for doing that. Basically, the tech priest then counts as the data smith um, for the 
for the protocols and also and what what you can do is you can then choose the protocol at the end of your turn takes takes effect immediately and um, for all robots um, which is pretty good and also you've got this targeting override in the shooting phase you can choose to direct fire of one of the formations robots instead of shooting so one of the robots can choose at a different target to the rest so the data smith or tech priest can um, instead of him firing he can choose one of the robots to fire at a different unit than than the rest of them which is sort of what you'd expect because you forgo in the you know why would it give you an advantage um having all four of them in one group when if you had them in two groups then you could choose two different targets anyway so they've sort of backpedaled a little bit by by letting you have one of the robots um choose a different target you know the benefit of having the formation is the the you know the battle protocol take takes effect immediately so in summary it they're really quite an odd looking pair of models uh i like them though uh, they've grown on me depends on the color scheme you use like i said before um but they are expensive at 42 pounds and if you think about it that's 84 pounds for two sets of these um and that's that's quite a lot um but at 300 points you get two sets of these that's you know over a third over half of an army just for two kits let me know what you think of them uh in the comments below thank you ever so much for joining me for this unboxing and full review thank you for watching today the emperor protects